Hey folks, this is Dave Smith at Correctional Officer Lifestyle. Uh, one of the things that has become relatively nuisance-like, it, it's new to the point where, you know, it, it used to happen, but nowhere near as prevalent as it is today. And that is phone calls from the family. Each one of these inmates has a family. Family might not talk to them anymore. Family might have disowned them. Family might not know anything about their situation. They might just live in a whole different state. But everybody has a family that they came from. Nobody just magically hatched from an egg. Okay? Um, when the family calls, it is good to keep in mind that, yes, the inmate that they are calling about messed up. The inmate that they are calling about is incarcerated for crimes against the people of the state in which he is incarcerated. That family has done nothing wrong. We have a line in our code of conduct says, I will treat all with whom I come in contact with civility and respect. Make no mistake, if that inmate's family is calling you, you are in contact with somebody you need to treat with civility and respect. Now, do you have to pull punches with them? No. You, you, most of the calls that I field are because the inmate is in confinement or has been shipped to an outside hospital or has been attacked and they want information, okay? I don't give out information about hospital stays. I don't want them to know where that inmate's at. Because if they know where that inmate is at, then I've put two officers' lives in jeopardy because they want their loved one home. They're going to go get him. That's my mindset anyway. They're going to go get him. No, I'm not doing that. You're not getting any information about where the inmate is. But if you call me and you say, I'm worried about my son, I want to know that he's okay, I'll have somebody go put eyes on him. Make sure he's all right. I'll do that. Call the dorm officer. Hey, you seen him make so and so? Is he okay? That way I can tell the family, yes, he's fine. If I have to place one into confinement and he's got a visit coming, the confinement sergeant or myself will call the family and say, hey, don't bother coming up here. Your inmate was put in confinement. What's the, what's the first question we're going to get? What did he go to jail for? Why is he in confinement? That's the very first question I get asked every time. Why is he in confinement? Um, some of the more humorous conversations that I've had with families about an inmate being in confinement, when you ask, you know, mama calls up and says, I haven't heard from little Johnny in three or four days. What's going on? Well, mammy's in confinement. What do you do this time? It, 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 he's a frequent flyer, Okay. At that point, you know that you've got an inmate that is a frequent flyer in your confinement unit. But be nice to that family. Be professional to that family. Um, I have had situations where I had a family member call me about their inmate that was placed in confinement. And, or no, no, this is a different story. Wasn't placed in confinement. He wasn't getting his hygiene items. And... I went and I spoke to the inmate. He had all of his hygiene items. So me speaking to the inmate turned into a counseling session, which eventually turned into an Alpha Charlie. For those of you that are not familiar with military terminology, an Alpha Charlie is an ass chewing. And I told this inmate, do not ever have your family call me again just because you think you don't have enough hygiene items. That's what my staff is for. If my staff tell you I can't get it because I don't have it in the dormitory, then guess what? You can't get it because they don't have it in the dormitory. The delivery will get there in a little bit, and you'll be able to get all of your hygiene items. Okay? But treat that family with respect when they call. They didn't do anything wrong. All right? That's all I got for this video, folks. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications when I post new videos. And for the love of God, send me some send me some uh, comments. I like reading the comments. I do. I like the comment section. Sometimes it offends me, but I still like the comment section. Um, as always, there's no place for domestic violence. 1-800-799-SAFE. 1-800-799-7237. Domestic violence hotline. 
They have the tools, buildings, resources to help the victims of domestic violence. If you know the aggressor in a domestic violence situation, say something to somebody. Remember, the worst thing you can do is nothing. And if you are the aggressor in a domestic violence situation, there's two things you need to do. One, admit that you need it. Two, ask for help. It'll be provided. Okay? It doesn't come. No strings attached. But it, it will be provided. Uh, this is Dave Smith at Crash Launch Lifestyle. Remember, we've one corrections. One team, one fight. See you on the next video.